How's it going? I'm Jared Gillis. Welcome to another All About RVs. Hope you guys are doing well. And today we're going to be looking at a new block system for travel trailers. This new block is called Ox Blocks, and it's shaped a little bit different than what we have seen out there. So there's a lot of engineering that went into this on what it can fit and, and how it is used. But I think what they're going for here is they're trying to produce a block that's going to be extremely strong, very durable. It isn't going to crack. It's going to have a, a few other things in the molding so that it works really well with an RV travel trailer, uh, but they want to produce something that's really strong. So today, that's what we're gonna be looking at is my perception of is, is this something that's going to last and how strong is this? So let's take a closer look. So starting off, this thing feels really solid. It feels stout. There's some there's some heft to it for its size. You can uh, see on the inside that there is a lot of ribbing and some internal components to help strengthen it as it's holding up the, the tongue of your travel trailer or for the scissor jacks or whatever. Uh, it can take a, a lot of weight. It's rated at 10,000 pounds, which is, that's a lot of weight. Now it has a lot of moldings that go into here for its use. Like it has these uh, holes on the sides that you can grab it. You can almost grab it like it's a bowling ball or something like that, but it's just easy to be able to handle. The top is centered around a travel trailer. So a few of the things on here, if you just have a post on the front jack of your travel trailer, it can fit right in there. You're not worrying about it sliding off a, a piece of wood or something else. If you have a front jack that's a, a wheel, this is slotted and formed so that that wheel would nest right in here so that wheel's not trying to turn it's not trying to roll off it's securely sitting inside of this block and then if you have one that has like a, a square foot or a round foot that will fit in between these points on here and the round foot on a typical jack will usually fit right inside of there and nest inside so it's not going to come sliding off it's actually set up for scissor jacks too so if you have scissor jacks on your travel trailer this would work if you wanted to use them on all of your scissor jacks. Now, this is the interesting part because I don't really have much use for this in our fifth wheel. It doesn't fit our jacks, but I do think it's a product that could be good for a lot of RVers. But I heard about this because there were some high schoolers from Wasatch Caps and they asked me if I wanted to check this out. So it's an interesting partnership. It's a high school that's geared towards people that want to get into business. And it's an internship that then work with companies in the industry. So. Uh, they get some real hands-on experience. So they, they sent me an email, asked if I wanted to check it out and see what I thought of it. And they also sent me their ad for it, which was, it was really, really funny. It's a funny ad. Are you still using wood blocks to support your trailer? Well, stop it. And wood blocks rot and decay over time, like a politician's soul. Ox blocks are made in America from 100% recycled plastic and it won't break down over time like other blocks. Strong as an ox. But in this ad, there's, there's a couple of things that kind of stood out to me. Number one, I don't think that guy's mustache is real. Number two, what was happening when he was hitting it with that sledgehammer? Was it causing any damage to this unit? And so that is what I want to test out. Not the mustache, but hitting it with a sledgehammer. What did it do to this unit? So after slamming this thing with a sledgehammer, it really didn't do much to it. You can see a few marks on it where I had hit it with the sledgehammer. When I hit the wood out there that I used to use on our old fifth wheel, you can see the dents that went into that. But on here, you can just see these tiny little marks on there. So it, it passed the sledgehammer test. It did good. I'm still skeptical on his mustache. I don't think that thing was real, but hitting it with the sledgehammer, not that you'd really want to do that. There's really no use in it, but it was it was really funny in the ad and I had to put it to the test. Kind of like the sewer hose when they talked about being able to run over it and still use it. If you're gonna make wild claims, I'm gonna put it to the test. So I'll put a link down in the description because this guy really isn't that cheap, but it also isn't cheaply made. But when I was looking for it on Amazon, it kept trying to auto-correct different types of spellings of products. So if you wanted to check this out, it's easy just to click the link down below and it'll take you right to it. Because this product is really new, but I, I think it's gonna do well. Um, it's around $50. Uh, so if you wanted to get away from wood or you wanted to not have to worry about your post or the wheel on your tongue jack slipping around or moving around, this might 
might be the product that's right up your alley. So I think that's gonna do it for today. I was actually really impressed with this unit and uh, it, it, I, I hope that they do well. I hope that this high school class does well on their project with this. So I think that's gonna do it for today. I don't know why I held this thing through the entire video. It is kind of heavy, but if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see more videos about RVing, hit that subscribe button. And if we don't see you on the road, hopefully we will see you next video.